Welcome to sports, I'm Kayvon Izami. It's that time of the year where we have all four major sports going on at the same time. Hockey just got started on Wednesday night. NBA starts next week. And then we obviously know NFL and college football. And then MLB is really hot and heavy into their postseason play, which we'll get you updated on all the highlights for everything on that in just a bit. But it's that time of the week that we do it every single week. It is Athlete of the Week, and it's always hard. There's so many good athletes, especially this week. The amount of amazing performances from the local athletes in our area this week was incredible. It was very hard to pick, but we went with one, and that was Elijah Gray. Athlete of the Week, sponsored by Sheets, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram. Elijah Gray, look at that stat line right there. Five catches. For 204 yards, including a 66-yard touchdown catch. Do the math real quick there. That's like 40 yards a catch. That's insane. That's unheard of. And Elijah Gray, if you watch that game, Oak Hill against Greenbrier East on Friday night, you would see why he's our Athlete of the Week, sponsored by Sheets, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram. He was all over the place in crucial clutch moments, too, before the game got really out of hand uh, Out of hand for the Greenbrier East as Oak Hill really just turned it on in the second half. And a lot of that had to do with Elijah Gray, the receiver for the Oak Hill Red Devils, as Oak Hill's having a phenomenal season. And a lot of it is because of guys like Elijah Gray, Malachi Lewis, who he's won Athlete of the Week already, that's two kids from this Oak Hill team and their head coach, Devon Marion, with the way he and his coaching staff schemes these players up. With that being said, let's go full screen breakdown to show you why Elijah Gray is the Athlete of the Week. All right, so we stopped it right here. This is Elijah Gray. Hard to see him, I know, all the way in the corner. You're going to want to focus on these two Oak Hill receivers and then these two Greenbrier East cornerbacks. Elijah Gray and this receiver, they're going to do a little cross. But what's fascinating is these two Greenbrier East corners, they're actually going to stay with Elijah Gray. So he's going to be double teamed. Play it right here. All right, stop it. So far corner there. That's Elijah Gray. He is turning his head to look back at his quarterback, Malachi Lewis, because he knows even though he's double teamed, he has a foot and a step ahead of his defenders. Play it. Look at that. Double teamed, just like we were talking about. Two right there. And look how close he is to the out-of-bounce line. He's right there. So he has to focus on the two defenders that are between him, the ball that's in the air, and making sure he does not let his foot hit the out-of-bounce mark. And he does just that. He holds it. He secures the catch. And it's a big gain for the Red Devils. All right, stop it right here. This is the guy you want to look at, Elijah Gray right here. This is where I bring in Devon Marion, the head coach of Oak Hill, and his coaching staff. What they do to scheme up these places is incredible, and then Elijah Gray does the rest. So you'll play it here for a second. Stop it. That's J.D. Moritz. He went, great running back for Oak Hill. He went into motion, and you're going to see this guy. You're going to see this guy right here, and then you're going to see this one. All of them are going to bite on J.D. Moritz being in motion because they think the ball is going to him because he's going to go in motion. Play it. Stop it. Look at that. That's Elijah Gray. He has a step, just like the last play, on his defender. So before the ball is even thrown, he looks back at Malachi Lewis, gives him that little head nod like, yes, I know I'm right there tied up with my defender. Don't worry about it. I've got to step on him, and I'm going to beat him. And he says, throw me the ball with that little head nod. And was he right or not? Takes it all the way in. That's his 66-yard touchdown that we were just talking about right there. And then this last one right here. This is it. This is our guy, Elijah Gray, kind of in the slot, right? Playing a little slot. Again, the motion. Play it. Here we go. A player comes across. Stop it. Now, this is where another bites right here by the defense. All of these guys right here, you're going to see them bite toward the guy in motion. And because they're worried since he's going to go in motion, maybe that's the guy. And what does our guy Elijah Gray do? He just says, nope, 
Boom. I don't care about that. I'm going to run straight through everybody with speed and power. He has to turn around and make a tough catch, and he still does it and is able to get all the way down inside the five-yard line, fight off a tackle, and get down there. Elijah Gray was outstanding on Friday night. He had play after play after play, and we didn't even show them all. There was one where Oak Hill was all the way back at the one-yard line, had to go 99 yards. It was a third down, and what does Malachi Lewis do? He throws it up. Big catch for Elijah Gray. Elijah Gray, again, 204 yards on five catches and a big 66-yard touchdown catch. So our Week 7 Athlete of the Week, sponsored by Sheets, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, goes to Oak Hill wide receiver Elijah Gray. Great.